Ever wondered how quickly a joyous occasion can turn into a horrifying disaster? Let's take a moment to discuss a tragic incident that unfolded recently in Dhaka, Bangladesh. A massive fire erupted in a six-story building home to several bustling restaurants where families were enjoying their meals. This devastating blaze claimed the lives of at least 46 people and left dozens injured. Fire authorities believe that a gas leak or a stove may have sparked the fire, which then rapidly spread from a biryani restaurant. Despite the tireless efforts of 13 units of firefighters over two grueling hours, the fire was a monster that refused to be tamed. Meanwhile, the health ministry was plunged into a state of emergency, with hospitals treating 22 individuals for severe burns. The health minister, a renowned physician, himself confirmed that each of these people was in a critical condition. This unfortunate incident has once again brought to light the importance of safety measures in buildings. But what exactly went wrong here? The aftermath of the fire left a trail of heartbreak and devastation. Let's delve into the personal stories that emerged from this tragedy. Among the survivors was Muhammad Altaf, who recounted his narrow escape from the deadly blaze. Amidst the chaos, Altaf found his way to the kitchen, shattered a window and leapt to safety. His story is one of survival but also of loss. Two of his colleagues, who had bravely urged others to evacuate in the initial moments, weren't as fortunate and lost their lives in the inferno. Then there's the heartbreaking tale of Abdul Qudus, who lost his daughter Nimu in the fire. Nimu along with a group of her cousins and friends were all claimed by the blaze. The pain in Qudus's voice as he mourned his daughter echoes the collective grief of a nation in shock. Another story of loss emerged from the family of Syed Mubarak Hossein Kouchar. Kouchar, his wife, two daughters and a son were all victims of the fire. They were celebrating their upcoming emigration to Italy, a dream that tragically turned into a nightmare. The poignant words of Kouchar's cousin, Adikur Rahman, resonate deeply. Finally the dream was going to be fulfilled. They came to a restaurant but all died. As we mourn the loss of these innocent lives it's crucial to ask, could this have been prevented? In the wake of this tragedy, the need for stringent safety measures in buildings has been greatly underscored. The building, which became a death trap for many, was riddled with safety shortcomings. It housed gas cylinders on every floor, even on the stairways, a disaster waiting to happen. The building's design further complicated the situation with only a single staircase and a severe lack of ventilation and emergency exits. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's call for strict adherence to construction rules and regulations rings louder now than ever before. These requirements for essential safety features such as fire exits and ventilation systems are not mere suggestions, they're lifesavers. In response to this catastrophe, the government has taken proactive steps. A five-member panel has been established to thoroughly investigate the incident, pinpoint the lapses, and ensure they're not repeated in the future. This tragic incident serves as a stark reminder of the dire consequences of neglecting safety measures in buildings. Let's hope that this incident prompts a much-needed change in safety regulations, not just in Bangladesh, but around the world.